So let's uh, scroll down here to Fred Hirsch Radio, hit play, and we tune in. And there we go, there's Fred. So this is the Pandora experience, this is the whole thing. So if I want to rate songs, I can do that. If I want to find out why the music genome selected the track, I can get that information. I can also bookmark songs, I can create new stations from what I'm hearing. Actually, for the first time in an in-home device, you can actually create complex stations right from the remote control. So make a station and put all different kinds of music into it to create a kind of um, uh, mix with a lot of variety. So getting back to the Sonos itself for a little bit, imagine that the kids are in the living room and they want to listen to their music. Well, they pick up the controller in the living room, pick that room, Sonos calls them zones, and they can select their station. So maybe they pick Jack Ringham Radio. And now, we've got Jack playing in the back of the house. Now, maybe the multi-room cacophony chases me out. I'm going to have dinner somewhere else, maybe. And uh, so the kids pick up the remote control, invite some friends over, and with just a few presses of the button, they're able to link the whole house together into what Sonos calls party mode. And now the whole house filled with the same thing. So, one room, two rooms, the whole house, one station, a hundred stations, all on the Sonos. Fantastic device. Definitely the premier way to fill your home with, with Pandora music. Sonos for Pandora for Sonos is available today. Uh, existing Sonos users are going to get an automatic upgrade tomorrow morning. Uh, there's a 30-day free trial, and it's a $3 a month subscription after that. It's also completely advertising free. OK. So let's bring John McFarlane up here to tell us a little bit more about Sonos and where he sees all this going. John? Well, Tom, Tim, and uh, Joe, I wanted to say on behalf of Sonos, we're uh, really honored to be up here. And I'm a, a raving Pandora fan, have been for a long time. So uh, I've been fortunate enough to be able to listen to my Pandora and my Sonos, and we'll deliver that to everybody tomorrow. But uh, I wanted to say just a couple of things. First off, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in Pandora because I think it has uh, really become the next generation of uh, both in internet radio and terrestrial radio. So I don't think I have a lot of uh, sales to do in this audience, but uh, we're, we're huge believers in what Pandora's done. Thanks to the team here for inviting us and for uh, letting us host your content in all our households. And I wanted to say, in uh, the Sonos household, we think a lot about music as a social experience. Of course, everybody talks about music on your iPod, and that's really a personal experience. It's not, uh, you might share the earbud with somebody else and walk down the street, but uh, you're not typically uh, doing that around your dinner table. And we focus on music in your home and, and the social setting around your dinner table. So. Really, for us, Pandora is an ideal uh, partner in this sense because you're sitting at your dinner table enjoying a, a, a dinner with your family or your friends, and you can dial up any music you want from the palm of your hand and put it, put it around your house. So uh, it's perfect content, and we really appreciate it. Uh, you guys are great partners. We really look forward to it. Thank you. Thanks, John. All right, so with the Sonos, we've filled the whole house with music. You can listen to Pandora at work on your PC. But where else? What about when you're at the gym? What about when you're walking to school, when you're in your car? How do we bring Pandora all those places to? So we spent a lot of time thinking about this, and, and it's something that we call Pandora on the go. And it taps into an entirely new set of capabilities in the Pandora Everywhere platform that allows us to deliver music in formats over networks using protocols that are designed for on the go scenarios. Now, this is, this is the whole Pandora experience. This is all your stations, all the songs you love on Pandora, 
the power of the Music Genome Project in your pocket, everywhere you go. Now, the on-the-go space is certainly multidimensional. And Pandora will ultimately find its way to connected MP3 players, to mobile phones, even into the, the dash in your car. And since we're giving away all our secrets, I can tell you that we're actually working on all of those things right now. But tonight, we want to focus on Pandora on the phone. And it's my tremendous pleasure to announce that as of today, Pandora is coming to Sprint. Sprint is without question the most forward-thinking carrier when it comes to digital music. They were the first with over-the-air downloads. They were the first to set prices at just 99 cents per song. They have the very best music phones. And now they're the first carrier with Pandora. So after a year of working on this in absolute secrecy, carrying the damn thing around in my pocket with me everywhere I went, we're finally able to show it to you. There it is. And so I think, unfortunately, I can't, like with the Sonos, I can't project this up on the screen. So I, I think what I want to do is we're just going to start with you. And I'm going to bring each of you up on the stage. And I'll show it to you one at a time. <laughs> yeah. I, I, maybe, maybe what we'll do is when we're done here, we've got a whole bunch of phones on hand, a whole bunch of great Pandora employees to, to show them to you. Um, maybe instead, I'll just show you some screenshots. Um, so it's a little tiny application that you install on your phone. When you, when you start it up, it immediately gives you all of your stations. If you were listening before, it automatically launches back into the music you were listening to. I mean, it's just like Pandora.com. And one of our really big sort of uh, you know, philosophical centering points is that we want the music to always be coming to you. And so we, we try to get you to the music as quickly as possible. You have to navigate through a million menus. But you have all your stations, just like the Sonos, all the stations from the web in your pocket, 100 stations. You pick a station. It looks just like Pandora.com. You get the album art. You get the name of the artist. You get all the information about the song. You can find out why the genome selected it. You can bookmark it. You can rate songs. You can skip songs. It's the whole experience. And of course, you can create stations. So this means that the next time that you're out at dinner with your hipster friends and they say, man, you've got to hear the Silverson pickups, you can take your phone out of your pocket, pull up Pandora, type Silverson pickups in, be and immediately being hearing songs by that band and others like it. And it, so it puts an entirely new twist on what social music discovery is. <laughs> it's incredibly easy to, to get started. You just point your phone's browser at Pandora.com. In about 30 seconds, we'll install a fully functional 30-day free trial. This isn't some hobbled version of the experience where you can listen for 10 minutes and then we try to take your money. You get to use the whole application for 30 days, listen as much as you want, interact with all your stations. You get the whole thing. It's a completely advertising-free experience. And then when you fall in love with it, at least we hope you fall in love with it, it's just $3 a month billed to your phone bill. Now, to put that in a little bit of context, that means you can get a year of Pandora for less than three months of XM or Sirius. And so this is, without question, the most cost-effective and affordable way to get radio to a phone, really to any device. 